Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are checking out the 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander. Now the trim we're in is the four cylinder with all wheel drive. You can also opt for a V6 and you can get it in front wheel drive as well. And I thought rather than doing my usual routine, I would take this thing to do some light off-roading. Now this isn't gonna be anything crazy. Um, it's on all season tires and I'm out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm not trying to get stuck, but I did wanna test out the all wheel drive system and see how it handles. Now starting off touching on visibility all the way around is actually pretty good a little blocked up in the back but as far as checking your blind spot and out the front you do have a decent amount of visibility and you're up high so you can kind of see everything pretty nicely as far as the driving position I'm 6'1 and I've got plenty of legroom there's plenty of adjustment in both the seat and the steering column to get it where you'd like to have it and so no problems there no contact for my knees or anything like that I've got plenty of space in the front the middle seats actually do have a decent amount of space as well and you can slide them forward and backwards and there also is a third row so you can fit seven people hypothetically speaking in here uh, but that said the two rear seats are pretty tiny so it's only going to be for kids uh, you know maybe five adults in here um, but other than that it's going to be pretty cramped if you're trying to fit people in the back you also can fold all of the seats flat so you have plenty of cargo space back there so that actually is pretty nice and overall you know this interior in here doesn't look too bad everything you know there is a lot of plastic and things like that but everything's very functional and simple to use so we're just going to take this over into this little area seems to be some deeper snow over here and just see how the all-wheel drive system works there's four modes you can put it in so you've got eco normal snow and lock so now I've got it in snow because I'm on top of snow I thought you know that would be a clever thing to do so you know a little bit deeper in here and you can see that it's using the all-wheel drive system and engaging the rear wheels but you know that said it's not having any trouble getting through this um, we're probably looking at four or five inches of snow here and definitely some deeper areas where there's some ruts and things like that. So no issues with that as far as ground clearance too. So I mean it's got 8.5 inches of ground clearance and you know a 105 inch wheelbase so not a super short wheelbase but not that long either somewhere in the middle range there's definitely scenarios where you could find yourself wanting either a shorter wheelbase or you know more ground clearance in order to get around some obstacles now i was actually coming up this road uh, on the way up just you know scouting out some locations where i could do this shoot and it didn't have any problem getting through the snow accelerating up this hill was no issue at all i didn't you know notice any wheel slip or anything like that i just left it in the snow mode so how mitsubishi's all-wheel drive system in this vehicle works they have the ability to detach the rear wheels so it has this eco mode as i mentioned and when it's in the eco mode it's going to prefer to just use the front wheels and not send any power to the back it's got an electronic coupler to send power to the rear wheels the front differential is an active differential so it's an electronic limited slip differential it's got a clutch in there which is electronically actuated in order to send torque to the wheel with more grip in scenarios where you have slip so that's a nice thing to have in the center as i mentioned an electronic coupler so it can decouple from the rear axle and then the rear axle is uh, just an open differential so there could be scenarios you know where you could have some wheel spin on the rear axle but that said they also do use the brakes in order to minimize wheel slip so to kind of act like torque vectoring where it will break uh, one of the wheels that starts to slip so you can get more torque to the other wheel so overall the drivetrain uh, as far as the all-wheel drive system seems to do a pretty good job of maintaining grip out here I didn't have any problems in the snow uh, and you know in the mud and dirt uh, like we're getting into now it hasn't been problematic either so overall I've been pretty impressed with the all-wheel drive system the tires on the other hand I think they could use a little you know you could definitely use some aftermarket tires these are all seasons so in some scenarios uh, they don't seem to be the greatest as far as accelerating or braking but you know it does make do and the all-wheel drive system seems to make the most out of it now under the hood is a 2.4 liter inline four cylinder and as i mentioned there is a v6 option uh, but the four cylinder that we're in now it has uh, 166 horsepower 162 pound feet of torque so very low powered and this vehicle weighs about 3500 pounds uh, so acceleration is very underwhelming um, you're not going to get you know super fast uh, zero to 60 times or high g-forces or anything like that and the fuel economy story is okay 24 in the city 29 on the highway nothing too impressive but 24 in the city actually isn't too bad uh, and i was able to do 28.5 on my 
primarily highway fuel economy run. So, you know, it can get in the upper 20s for fuel economy. There are SUVs in this segment which can get better fuel economy uh, that do have more power and still have all-wheel drive. Uh, but that said, you know, it's not too bad. Now, when you put the all-wheel drive mode in lock, what it does is it makes sure to couple that rear axle and then it's going to use, you know, the maximum pressure when it needs to uh, for the front differential to maximize the front end's grip and it's going to use the brakes when it needs to to maximize grip uh, for the tires in the back. So basically what it's just trying to do is make sure you don't have any wheel slip and that the torque goes to the wheel that needs it. Now I've put it into a low gear um, and one of the kind of disappointing things about this, the low gear is fine, it does, you know, it gets you into a much higher gear ratio uh, so you can accelerate very slowly out of sticky situations or you can kind of go down a hill. That said, I've been going down some fairly steep hills here and it doesn't really keep up. The car keeps accelerating and there's no way to manually shift. So I would like it if there was an ability to manually shift and get it into a higher gear ratio when you wanted it so that you didn't have to constantly rely on the brakes themselves and you could just let the engine do the braking through the all-wheel drive system. I should also mention this is the CVT transmission uh, so there aren't exactly gears but you could have stepped ratios uh, in order to use paddle shifters something like that and so when you do put it in these different drive modes so it's got a sport uh, which will keep it up in higher rpms and then it's got a low gear which you know can be used at lower speeds and it'll keep it up in much higher rpms and then you have the typical drive where it will just keep the revs as low as possible in order to maximize fuel economy unless you know you're flooring it and then it'll get it up into the higher rpms so we have entered an adult playground and the first thing i want to do is just go over this big hill can't see what's in front of me it's a little sketchy Alright, no big deal, goes over big hills. Okay, so next I want to test out just how good this all-wheel drive system is. So we're going to go up a fairly steep incline and see how it handles it. And usually you'd want to do this with a little bit of speed to make sure you get over it. But if you do it slower, it's a better test for the all-wheel drive system as it makes it more difficult. So I'm just going to try and creep over it. We've got it in lock and see how it does. Pretty steep right now. Doesn't seem to be any slip and it just goes right over it. So now I want to see if it makes a big difference if I put it in eco mode. So I've got it in eco mode and we're going to do the same thing and just see how it does. Go real slowly over it and see if it can make it. So I'm definitely getting slip on the front axle. And then it starts to lock up the rear and then it puts me over. So it is interesting to see that actually it does make a difference there. The lock, I didn't notice any slip with the front wheels and when I had it in eco mode, it would start to slip and then it would engage the rear tires. So it is cool that it actually does uh, make a significant difference in which mode you're in. So we'll do this one more time and this time I've got it in normal mode. And what I'm gonna do is come up, come to a stop, make it very challenging. So it holds it with the brakes and then a little bit of slip, but it makes it over, so no big deal. All right, got to make things more challenging for it. So I know that it has an open rear differential. So in order to test that out uh, and see how well this all-wheel drive system works, it'd be ideal if I could get one of the rear tires up in the air. So I'm going to try and do that here. Okay, so now that we've got one of the rear tires up in the air, the vehicle's at a stop, and I've put it in reverse, so this is basically as challenging as it's going to get for it, um, and I'm going to see if that open diff can handle it, and we can back up back over this hill. So, in reverse, it is going, I'll put it in lock mode to make it, give it the most advantage it can have, and then we will try to slowly back up this hill. Wow, not bad. All right, how about if we just try going up this hill in reverse? Wonder if that would make things any more difficult. So now you can see that open diff up front struggling, slipping a little bit, but it did make it over it. So I have to give it credit, pretty cool. 
Overall, I've been pretty impressed with the all-wheel drive system. You know, there haven't really been many scenarios where I've been able to trip it up. So, you know, there was one example earlier this morning where unfortunately I didn't record it, but I was backing up that same hill and I got the one of the rear tires up in the air and so the front axle didn't have quite enough grip and so it was just spinning and the rear axle, you know, one of the tires was in the air, it's an open differential, so it wasn't able to put down much. Um, and, and so in that situation, I wasn't able to go over the hill, but that said, this is on all season tires. You know, if you put better tires on it, I'm sure it'd be pretty capable. And as you saw, you know, in most scenarios, I would imagine that for the vast majority of drivers, they're not going to be, you know, going through things like this, the snow, the mud, the steep inclines. Um, and so I would imagine for the majority of drivers with these all season tires, it's going to do everything they need it to do. Uh, and for those, you know, who need it to be a little bit more capable, I'd say put some better tires on it. And aside from that, the all wheel drive system seems to be pretty capable. Another thing worth mentioning is just how quiet this interior has been. You know, I'm off-road, I'm on gravel roads, there's potholes, things like that, and it really hasn't been that loud in here, and there hasn't been too much vibration in here. Uh, my girlfriend and I, we often go to trailheads on roads like this, and she's got a Mazda, I've got a Subaru, and they rattle like crazy, and it's obscenely loud inside of them, and this has actually been pretty pleasant to drive out here, uh, so I have to give it credit for that as well. So, I mean, package overall, I, I have enjoyed driving this. I think there's a lot of value for the money in it. You get a lot of features for the price uh, and overall it seems to be a decent SUV. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.